Hello everyone. everyone, welcome back to our channel All the Food We Love. Uh, for those of you who hasn't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you get all the latest updates whenever we post a new video. My name is Emily. And my name is Andy. Selamat datang ke channel kami, kami sekali lagi. Dan uh, kali, um, kali, minggu ini, ataupun episod kali ini, kami memabarkan Burger King. Dan uh, Burger King uh, adalah salah satu uh, restoran, fast food restoran yang juga kami gemar uh, membelinya lah selain yeah. daripada McDonald's. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, today we have uh, from the left, mm -hmm. it's uh, long chicken. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so this is chicken and then we have double, uh, what is this, uh, Swiss mushroom, mushroom double. Mm -hmm. And then this is the uh, current pro promotional item, uh -huh. which is the rendang double. Oh, yeah. I mean, they used to have hmm. uh, rendang Dulu double. Dulu memang mereka ada uh, rendang double ni, tapi uh, di certain waktu uh, mereka memberhentikan. Uh, yeah. Tak tahu kenapa uh, mereka memberhentikan. Padahal uh, ini ada dalam menu mereka. Yeah. Baru-baru um, uh, ini mereka kembalikan semula. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, when they bring it back it's as a promotional item oh bukan maksud no, it's not a permanent oh, okay, okay. Um, item on their menu ah. and then um, over here we have a whopper ah. yeah they are a traditional whopper ah betul dan uh, ini adalah uh, di di uh, di sides inilah uh, kentang yeah. dan juga uh, so we have sides of uh, yeah fries mm. and onion rings i mm. love the onion rings oh my god yeah uh, burger king uh, terkenal dengan onion ring mereka yeah. mereka memang uh, I love Sarangi. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's dig in. Woo! Uh, which one, which one, which one, which one, which one, which one? I'm gonna go with the long chicken. Wow. Jumpa makan, makan semua. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, good. Mm. Chili sauce. Mmm. So, Burger King, fries-nya tambah berbeza dengan McDonald's. Yeah? Dia lebih uh, tebal daripada McDonald's. McDonald's dia lebih halus. Ya. Yeah. Dan baru-baru um, ini, uh, KFC juga mengikut um, secara Burger King dan fries juga mereka uh, berubah. Dia lebih kecil seperti McDonald's dan sekarang uh, besar. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, betul kan? KFC. Mm -hmm. Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh -huh. I just remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had their um, long chicken, mm -hmm. long chicken sandwich. I think it's called mm, for a very long time now. So when whenever you haven't had that um, something for that that particular food for a while, and then you tasted it and it's like super delicious. Yeah, mine is actually such a <sighs> Dan begini dalamnya. Sorry. Ini adalah uh, you double. You choose this one because it's your favorite. Ah uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Salah satu dah kegemaran saya adalah double Swiss mushroom Swiss. Hmm. Dan saya okay. memilih ini, saudara, kerana apa? Dia lebih cheesy daripada yang rendang. Dan rendang um, yang dahulu ni yang saya, yang saya ingat saya lah. Dan rendang yang dahulu dia dia punya uh, sos dia ataupun perisa dia tu lebih uh, spicy. Mm. Uh. Sekarang saya tak tahu lah pasal dia dah kembalikan semula dan saya tak tahu macam mana rasanya. Kita akan give it a try later. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I made a smiley face. Baik, saya seperti biasa. Kami um, akan memaparkan cerita-cerita yang seperti biasa sebab uh, sedang kami akan makan, kami akan cerita uh, seram ataupun kami akan share informasi tentang tentang uh, yang kita jarang dengar uh, tentang tetapi seperti misteri dan dan sebagainya lah. Hmm. Dan tetapi uh, episod kali ini. 
kami akan menceritakan tentang sleep paralysis. Maaf. Uh, ini sentiasa berlaku pada kita yang sedang tidur, tetapi uh, badan kita masih tidur, tapi otak kita sudah bangun. Ya. Uh, dan ini selalu terjadi pada kita. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, I did a, a bit of a digging mm-hmm. regarding the stages of sleep. Mm-hmm. So, basically, this sleep, per, sleep paralysis mm-hmm. usually happens on when the person is experiencing REM, which is rapid eye movement. Mm. So basically, there's four stage of sleep. Mm-hmm. When someone falls asleep, mm-hmm. they will go through four stages mm-hmm. of uh, sleep. Mm-hmm. The first three stages are called non-REM, mm-hmm. uh, non-rapid eye movement stage. Mm. So the first stage mm-hmm. is actually when you were just about to fall asleep. Oh, okay. So this is when um, your uh, breathing starts to slow down, <laughs> your heart rate also starts to slow down, and um, you may also experience the jerking. Mm. That means your brain is not ready to fall asleep mm. yet, and your brain is telling your body, I am, you know, you're not dead. Mm. You know? So, um, you know, the your brain is sending uh, neurons mm-hmm. to all parts of your body to say that hey i'm not asleep yet mm. you know so that's the reason why you you start to jerk mm. and then you suddenly wake up mm. you, you experience mm-hmm. that before, yeah, right yeah, yeah. so that usually happens on the first stage mm. and then on the second stage this uh, your heartbeat starts to get even lower mm-hmm. and uh, your brain uh, if i'm not wrong if your brain movement mm-hmm. uh, also starts to get more a little bit more active mm-hmm. uh, your breathing also starts to get even more shallower Mm. Yeah, uh, and then uh, you move on to the third stage, which is the stage right before uh, you experience REM, mm. which is the rapid eye movement. Uh, <laughs> this third stage, it's when people starts to experience uh, sleepwalking. Sometimes, if you do have spli- oh. sleepwalking, this is the stage that you actually do, uh, because it's it's the stage where. Um, your body is sh- uh, your sorry your mind is shut mm-hmm. but your body is not totally paralyzed yet mm-hmm. yeah so that's when you can grind your teeth you can speak to yourself mm-hmm. you know uh, nigau mm-hmm. like the malays will call it nigau mm-hmm. uh, sometimes you would also experience night terrors mm-hmm. yeah so that this is the reason I mean, scientific- scientifically this is the reason why oh. Yeah, so uh, and then we move on to the REM mm-hmm. where uh, you would experience uh, uh, nightmares or dreams. Mm-hmm. This is the last stage of, of your sleep, mm-hmm. actually. So, uh, when you are in the REM stage, mm-hmm. your body is actually paralyzed, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, your, your brain is shut, mm-hmm. your body is paralyzed, and so. But if you how the scientists ex- uh, explain, uh you know, uh, sleep paralysis or, or being held down. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're being held down mm-hmm. by um, forces. Mm-hmm. Uh, is because that your brain mm-hmm. is actually awakened already. Uh. But because on the third stage uh-huh. you are experiencing, uh, sorry, on the fourth stage uh-huh. you are already experiencing body paralysis, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So your whole entire body is paralyzed, but your brain is active. Mm. So that's the reason why you feel like as if something is forcing down on you, but it's actually just your body being paralyzed. Mm. So th- I mean, like it's the reverse version of uh, stage number one. Mm. I feel mm. because stage number one, your brain is still active and it's sending um, waves down to your body, saying that it's you know you're not dead, you mm. are alive. Mm. So that's the reason why you have the jerking movement. Mm. So uh, on the fourth stage, which is the REM stage, mm. it's when uh, your brain uh, already uh, awakened. Uh, but your body is still sleeping. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So I mean, that's how they they explained it. Mm-hmm. So I have experienced uh, body paralysis before. Yeah. One time, mm-hmm. um, back in um, the old house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the funny thing is that usually uh, during uh, when when people talk about body, uh, sorry, uh, sleep paralysis, mm-hmm. is when you are sleeping upright. Mm-hmm. Not upright. <laughs> <laughs> are you a mummy? <laughs> no, not right. It's like uh, when you are, you know, staring uh, to the ceiling, mm. right? What is that called? Like, you know, your body is straight. Lying and, straight. Yeah, yeah, lying straight on mm. your back. Uh-huh. So, but when I was ha- when I had that uh, body paralysis um, 
moment, mm-hmm. okay. When I had that body paralysis moment, mm-hmm. um, I was actually sleeping on my side. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I just couldn't. Um, I couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I feel like someone is pressing down on me. But I didn't think I did Mary. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, sir. I feel like someone is pressing down this way. Oh, biasanya kalau kita tidur uh, lain uh, baring uh, straight, eh? baru kita dapat mm-hmm. ditekan dada. Yeah. So I feel like my whole entire body is being compressed and I couldn't breathe mm-hmm. because my entire body is being compressed, right? Mm-hmm. I couldn't breathe and I couldn't open my eyes. I could barely open my eyes. Mm-hmm. I remember I was like trying, trying, trying so hard to like open my eyes, but mm-hmm. I just couldn't open my eyes mm-hmm. and I couldn't speak. Mm-hmm. But I know I was thinking something. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about, you know, God mm-hmm. and reciting some prayers in my head mm-hmm. until the moment that I can actually speak it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then after that, it just start to release from my body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bagi saya, mm, saya hanya mengalami sekali. Di, di rumah lama juga mm-hmm. tapi saya tidak be, bukan uh, terasa seperti di 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 propres dan sebagainya cuma badan saya tu saya tidak rasa da, saya tidak dapat da, saya tidak dapat rasa badan saya hmm? <laughs> so you can't feel so, your body at all yeah like your paralyzed lah yeah hmm. saya so, dah bangun hmm. mata saya dah buka tapi saya tak boleh bangun Badu, maksud saya tu badan saya tak boleh bangun macam you you, if you can just feel your head You boleh hanya rasa di daerah daerah kepala hmm. tetapi <coughs> leher ke bawah saya, saya tidak rasa apa-apa oh that's scary ya yeah. <laughs> dan di, di situ dia, saya cuba uh, sebagai orang Islam saya pasal saya saya mengucap dan sebagainya sebagainya uh, barulah mungkin uh, pendarahan kan <laughs> dan kemudian uh, pendarahan tu baru jalan uh, semula dengan secara normal baru saya dapat rasa badan saya tu uh, kembali semula mm. uh, dapat merasa seluruhnya lah mm. dan saya terus bangun dan saya terus bangun saya cepat-cepat pergi ke dapur uh, ambil minuman air uh, yang agak uh, so, sangat lah mm. uh. jadi supaya dia uh, kembali semula panas yeah. kan badan kita yeah. itu cuma sekali tapi itu bukan uh, saya rasa itu bukan pasti parah saya, saya tak tahu mungkin badan saya sejuk Hmm. Uh, terlalu sejuk mungkin saya punya temperature terlalu turun but it could ex- split nah, paralysis can juga. also mungkin explain juga. because like I said on the fourth uh, stage mm-hmm. your body is still paralyzed mm-hmm. but your brain has already awoken like mm-hmm. you said mm-hmm. you are already wide awake mm-hmm. but your body hasn't recovered from the body paralysis mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. body is still paralyzed mm-hmm. in that sense yeah but you know um, that is not that scary I mean ha- having experiencing something like a force being um, like a force sitting on you or pressing you down that is actually quite scary as well mm-hmm. but there are certain cases there are certain stories that I've heard and I've read mm-hmm. that um, they actually saw something oh. other than being pressed down mm-hmm. other than feeling the force or the weight mm-hmm. of something being pressed down on their body mm-hmm. they can also <coughs> see something oh. you know they try to open their eyes adakah ini mungkin uh, bukan sesuatu yang scientifically yang di mana di 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 di, di, di terangkan oleh science yang di mana kan kita, di mana kita ni barat kita tertidur tapi mata kita dan otak kita sedang uh, bangun mm-hmm. tetapi adalah sebaliknya maksud saya tu benda lain yang cuba uh, mengganggu kita semasa kita tidur yeah. adakah seperti itu could be hmm. it could be like you know There's always limitations to what science can explain. Betul, betul. Tak semestinya uh, science itu adalah 100% apa jawapan yang kita sebagai manusia jalani kehidupan kita lah seharian. Kenapa tu? Mhm. Jangan 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 bawa. Mhm. Okey, guys. Jadi saya mesti macam dulu ya. Oh, mm-hmm. Burger King, do let us down. Mhm. It's not the same. Mhm. Hmm. As a hint of curry, I think. Hahaha. Okay. Bukan rendang, eh? Hahaha. It doesn't taste the same like uh, what I remember mm. rendang burger used to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. 
Mari kita coba. <laughs> What do you think? Hmm. I'm not hmm. used to this flavor. Hmm. Ayo saya kata tu betul. Dia ada more to kari yang perisa dari daripada hmm. rendang. Hmm. My love Burger King. Yeah. Burger King, you will let us down. But I still like the mushroom sweets, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I still like the Whopper. Mm -hmm. So I will still go to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, ini adalah promotion item kan? Mm -mm. So mungkin um, ini tidak begitu lama di di uh, carta menu mereka lah. Mm -mm. So kalau anda nak cuba sendiri, mungkin uh, segera lah ke Burger King untuk mencuba sendiri. Dan anda boleh kalau anda menya mencubanya, boleh tinggalkan komen. Ya. Yeah. Uh, mungkin macam mana pendapat anda tentang rendang burger uh, Burger King uh, untuk sekarang ni. And Burger King if you ever see this and if you think about putting this into your regular menu. Please balikkan it semula. <laughs> balikkan semula uh, ingredient anda. Ya. Yeah. I miss that flavor. Mhm. Mm It was so wholesome. Mhm. Mm Walaupun dia pedas tapi saya lebih prefer yang lama. Mhm. Kenapa spicy? Bagi saya itu spicy, betul betul spicy. Yeah. Ya. Pasal apa? Saya punya orang ialah saya tidak begitu suka apa, gemar dengan spicy kan. Tapi bagi saya itu dah uh, agak spicy lah. Mm. Kami. Dan ini dia tak spicy pun. <laughs> dia mau tu kari. If you say it's not spicy, it is not spicy. Yeah. Dia mau tu kari lah. Ya. So, oh. yeah. Baik. Jadi um, saya nak menceritakan um, sleep paralysis yang di mana. Um, seseorang ni uh, dia telah <coughs> uh, menjalani ataupun diganggu oleh uh, sleep paralysis ni. Tetapi kita tidak tahu adalah kat ini sleep, sleep paralysis apa yang uh, scientific uh, katakan mm -hmm. ataupun sebaliknya. Baik, uh, ada satu cerita ni di mana pada di satu malam tu uh, <laughs> dia sedang tidur dan dia dikejutkan oleh uh, bunyi-bunyi mungkin inilah kadang-kadang kita terdengar uh, kereta <laughs> kereta di, di jalan raya dan sebagainya dan mungkin orang kita, uh, honking pada malam, malam hari malam hari dia terjaga dan dia terdengar ada seperti jalanan ataupun orang sedang berjalan di um, daerah koridor ni lah ataupun di uh, hallway-nya tu katanya hallway mm -hmm. jadi um, was this local story saya kurang pasti ni local ataupun uh, overseas hmm. Pasal dia tidak mengatakan uh, dia overseas atau bukan Baik. Baik, tadi Bila dia sesadarnya dia Dia sedang tidur um, Baring lah Membaring Jadi Dia ni Cara dia tidur tu dia tidak akan uh, Tidur uh, Straight lah, membaring uh, Melentang maksud saya tu no, Dia akan inside? Dia akan selalu tidur on the side. Oh, okay. Dia akan selalu tidur mereng. mereng. Hmm. Either ke kanan atau ke kiri. Itu cara dia. Dia tak suka tidur straight. Okay. Okay. Jadi. Well, that's my favorite position everybody. Hmm. But it's not good. Ya. Yeah. Jadi Selamat dia. Um, bila dia ter tersadar. Sadar tu, dia, bila dia ter ter tidur bareng tu. Dia macam agak terpanjat lah. Eh kenapa aku boleh ter tidur bareng? Baik. Jadi pada waktu ketika dia tersadar tu. Dia dapat rasakan yang. Um. Uh, yang apa tu uh, yang dia, dia dengar tu sesuatu yang berjalan tu dia nak toleh ke ke, ke, ke kiri ataupun ke kanan tak mm -hmm. saya saya dia ke kiri lah okay. dia tidak nampak sesuatu pun yang 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 berlalu lah maksudnya tu dia tak, tak nampak pun sesuatu yang yang, yang berlalu tapi bila dia nak bangun tu mm -hmm. ataupun dia nak cuba meringkan badannya dia tidak boleh um, bergerakkan badannya Okay. Ha. Dan setelah itu Dia terasa seperti badannya tu Ada benda yang menekat Dada dia Oh. Ha. Bayangkan bila anda dah tersadar Tapi anda tak boleh, tak boleh bergerak Dan tiba-tiba dada anda tu ditekan Oleh sesuatu hmm. yang anda tak boleh nampak hmm. Jadi <laughs> <laughs> Jadi anda bayangkan Kalau anda di situasi Haa uh, Pencerita ni 
Bagaimana apa dan apa yang uh, anda akan lakukan? Kalau bagi saya uh, sebagai orang Islam, of course lah kita terpaksa baca uh, sebagainya kan. Tapi uh, di 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 uh, pencerita ni dia tidak menceritakan dia adalah orang Islam atau sebagainya hmm. dan dia hanya menceritakan um, apa pengalaman beliau yang yang dia ter, uh, rasa lah lalu ia dan uh, dia cuba um, mengatasi uh, tekanan tu tersebut tu dengan uh, menggoreng-goyangkan kepalanya dulu dan sebagainya dan kemudian dia dapat uh, atasi um, force tu lah ataupun tekanan tu dan dia terus bingkas bangun hmm. uh, jadi saudara jadi apakah yang uh, telah menekan uh, dada pencerita tersebut ataupun adakah ini hanya sleep paralysis apa yang kita uh, telah kongsikan uh, awal tadi. Yeah. Uh-huh. So let us know if you think that it is um, an unseen force mm-hmm. or Betul. scientific. Mm. Yeah. So are, are you pro science mm-hmm. or you are into you will believe that it's an unseen force? Betul. Tapi bagi saya saya more to unforeseen force. <laughs> yeah, we read too much of uh, true Singapore ghost stories <laughs> growing up. Mm-hmm. So uh, we are experiencing a little bit of brain damage. Mm-hmm. Russell Lee, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I will put a photo. Do you still have that photo of you taking a photo with Russell Lee? I can't remember, but I think I do. I can't yeah, growing up, uh, we went to this like, um, I think it's a book convention. Mm-hmm. And then Russell Lee came. I mean, we didn't know that Russell Lee was yeah, going to come. Betul, betul. <laughs> So we were very excited for his new book at that time. I think I can't remember is it book six or book some something lah. No, it's book nine. Oh, is it book nine? Yeah. Oh, he remembered. <laughs> so we were so excited about his new book, and then we were there, and at that moment it was like a chaos. I remember it was a chaos at the entrance, <laughs> and then suddenly he came in, and yeah. then we were like, Rosalie, Rosalie, yeah, and then we, we, yeah. uh, he took a photo. I was too shy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was too shy to admit I was a fan. <laughs> I was young. We were young. Yeah, we were young. Uh, saya juga tak sangka yang Rasli akan turun pada ketika itu. Pasal yeah. tidak di, di, diberitahu kan? Tiba-tiba Rasli. Eh, itu Rasli lah. <laughs> yeah, and I, re- I think I remember you you had uh, him autograph your, yeah, yeah, your betul, betul. that you bought, mm, right? Mm. Ooh, that was exciting times. <laughs> Satu hari nanti saya akan memaparkan buku tersebut Kalau sekiranya saya masih ada Terus saya masih ada Saya tak, saya tak membuang buku-buku uh, seperti ini Sebab saya sayang uh, betul, betul. Sebab saya sayang dan saya betul fan uh, uh, beliau mm-hmm. uh, Daripada kecil saya membaca buku beliau sampai sekarang yeah. <laughs> Umur saya dah berapa kan uh, Jadi saya menggemari uh, uh, Russell Lee I read them because he read it <laughs> So I borrowed his books <laughs> Okay, so my story started in 2008 mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, this particular guy, mm-hmm. he, his family um, is supposed to live in Tampines mm-hmm. Their uh, actual house is actually in Tampines But him, uh, only his father mm-hmm. lives there mm. Him Uh, this particular guy mm-hmm. is actually being taken care of by his grandmother. Mm. Okay, mm-hmm. so for good six years, he never stepped foot in his tampan in his tampanis house. Mm-hmm. He uh, only his father did come back and sleep there and then go back to work and stuff like that. And then in January of 2008. Uh, the whole entire family, after the house is being fully renovated again, mm-hmm. um, the family came back to the Tampanese house, and of course he he is happy with the state of the new house because mm-hmm. it's newly renovated, mm-hmm. it feels fresh, mm-hmm. and he is very happy with his room. So, <clears throat> in January of 2008, mm-hmm. uh, there was uh, he said that there was a series of death. Like a Chinese uh, uh, funerals oh, okay. uh, at the block in front mm-hmm. of his house mm-hmm. and also underneath his vo- uh, at his void deck. Mm-hmm. So uh, one night he decided to open up his window mm-hmm. just just a little bit just to get uh, some fresh air mm-hmm. inside. So that's the first time that he uh, felt like uh, in the middle of the night mm-hmm. when he was asleep. Mm-hmm. That's the first time that he actually felt like. A force mm-hmm. is sitting on top of him. Oh. Yeah, he couldn't um, say anything. Mm-hmm. He 
could he could open his eyes a little bit he could see his aircon mm-hmm. but he couldn't move he couldn't say anything mm-hmm. and it lasted for a good two minutes oh yeah to okay. i mean like if you are in that position two minutes is a very long time mm-hmm. yeah especially when you feel like you can't breathe so <coughs> after the first incident mm-hmm. he let that one slide and then um third day mm-hmm. after the first incident the third day mm-hmm. um, the same thing happened mm. yeah but this time around he didn't open his window oh okay yeah so he was just sleeping and again he felt like you know um, something is pressing down his chest mm. and he couldn't move and he couldn't really breathe mm-hmm. so after the uh, after the second incident uh, the second incident lasted about 3 minutes mm-hmm. yeah So these are just g- uh, gauge yeah? uh, estimation. Mm-hmm. Um and then he told his mom. Yeah, uh, he told his mom that he's experiencing all this stuff. The mom is like um how the mom reacted is like believe or don't believe. Mm. Like that like he, his mom just told him to uh read the Bible before you go to sleep just read the Bible you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So to him it feels like the mom doesn't believe what he's mm-hmm. uh, what he has said mm-hmm. what he has explained to the mom mm-hmm. it feels like she doesn't believe him mm-hmm. so instead of reading the bible mm-hmm. he actually just put it next to him mm-hmm. yeah and no disturbance for six uh, for six days oh for an entire week mm-hmm. there was no disturbances until one day he was doing his homework in the afternoon i think it's about 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. so he was he tuned in to some chinese songs mm-hmm. and then he was um doing his homework mm-hmm. and i think when you you do homework you get a bit tired right mm-hmm. so he felt like he felt drowsy lah very very sleepy so he decided to take a nap mm. yeah so he left the the song on and he went to uh he went to bed so he was lying down on his bed and then suddenly he fell asleep so when he fell asleep once again He felt like somebody is pressing down on him. Mm. And this time around uh it was worse than the first and second one. Oh. Yeah, the this time around he felt like he couldn't even breathe oh. at all. Uh-huh. And he couldn't even open his eyes. Oh. Yeah. And the eerie part is mm-hmm. he actually heard a girl's voice hmm. asking him to help her. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Like she said, uh, I uh, I am not from Singapore. Mm-hmm. Please help me. Oh. Yeah. The girl was shouting in his ears. I am not from Singapore. Please help me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he he actually shouted back. Mm-hmm. He actually said, uh, I don't know you. I don't know you. So please don't come and disturb me. Mm-hmm. He shouted back, and that's when he dis- he felt like you know it is out. Mm. The 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 force is off from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh how he write this uh, story, right? It's like a journal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know whether he's still experiencing. I don't know what's happening from 2008 mm-hmm. to now. Mm-hmm. So, that's about 12 years already, mm-hmm. right? So, I'm not sure that's the last uh entry mm-hmm. that he made that he is still experiencing this um uh sleep paralysis mm-hmm. that he still feels like a force being uh, on top of him mm-hmm. like almost every night it's mm-hmm. it's very frequent that he has it um yeah so nobody knows what's happening mm-hmm. to him at this point oh tapi dia ada um tenaga untuk bersuara ya yeah. uh, setan orang dia tidak boleh bersuara sampai kan eh yeah? yeah. pasal dia uh, rasa seperti ditekan dan dia tidak akan dapat bersuara pun langsung ya yeah. mm-hmm. I think uh, for him I think he master a lot of energy mm-hmm. to okay. to speak mm-hmm. to yeah to speak up. Mhm. Mesra ini um, adalah yang terakhir uh, untuk uh, episod kali ini dan kami akan habiskan makanan-makanan kami ini dan uh, jangan lupa I don't know what I want to finish this or not. Kenapa? Hmm sedap. <laughs> The rendang. Oh, rendang dia. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's, it's, it's not really. Down. Yeah. It's it's mm. it doesn't. I can't finish the whopper. <laughs> yeah. Whopper ni sedap saya. Dan uh, okay lah. Uh, Sudah so ada ada komen komen. Sudah tinggal komen. Dan jangan lupa like. Dan jangan lupa tekan butang subscribe dan juga butang loceng. Uh, dan nyalakan. Uh, jadi anda boleh dapat 
uh, episode-episode yang akan datang. Yeah, so that's it for this week. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.